Overview of Financing Operations. As companies become more profitable, it is natural to want to expand and grow their business. If Starbucks was still a Seattle coffee shop with one store, very few of us would have ever heard of them. So there are three general ways to finance operations and growth. The first is through the use of retained earnings. If companies have enough cash on hand, they can use it to expand their business. This is a low risk approach to growth but often the slowest. A more common way to finance business growth is through equity financing. This is done through the issuance of stocks. This approach is usually low risk since there is no requirement to pay dividends, but this is often the costliest of the approaches as dividends are not tax deductible nor are they an expense. An additional downside is that it dilutes the ownership in the business. The final approach, and the focus of this and the next several videos in the playlist, is debt financing. Debt financing is done through leasing, bank loans, or issuance of bonds. This is the cheapest approach to grow a business because interest expense is tax deductible. However, regular interest payments usually need to be made, and a cash-strapped business could struggle to stay in business if the debt load becomes too high. As individuals, often we want to have as little debt as possible. We would prefer to be debt-free rather than carry a debt load. This is not the same for businesses. Often a business with little to no debt is being poorly managed because debt could and should be used to expand and grow the business. Many companies aim for about 55% of their assets to be financed with debt. Debt financing is sometimes referred to as OPM, or other people's money. The concept is fairly simple. Let's say you have $1,000 and an idea of a product you can sell. If it requires $1,000 of materials, but produces a finished product that can be sold for $10,000, then you've earned a profit of $9,000. Once you collect that, you can start over. But if you went to a bank, and borrowed $100,000 and used those for the materials to make products that could be sold for a million dollars, you would have a profit of $900,000 and be far wealthier much quicker by using other people's money. However, just like individuals, companies can have too much debt. When this happens, they have a hard time paying their bills and may have to declare bankruptcy. The most common ways to use debt financing to grow a business are as follows. Leases, long-term notes payable, mortgages payable, issuing bonds. We will not cover leases in this course. Each of the others will be introduced in separate videos.